What is a catch-22 you have experienced in real life? Want to get a job to move to another city, can't get interviews because you don't live there. I tried to return my Firestone Forever battery when it died they told me that it had to be in the car I told them that I couldn't start my car even with a jump. Drive it there with a battery from a different car and then put the other back in in their parking lot. I experienced the most complicated catch 22 I've ever seen when we were dealing with people building our house. Let's see if I can remember all the parts. The bank couldn't approve a construction mortgage loan without plans from the builder. The builder couldn't provide the plans without an easement guaranteeing rights to a shared side of the property. The county wouldn't approve the easement. Or maybe the lawyer wouldn't write up the easement. Without an up-to-date survey on the property. The county couldn't perform an up-to-date survey without an up-to-date title on the property. The lawyer couldn't perform the title search without something from the county records department. I never fully understood what. The county records wouldn't provide that without proof that I owned the property. Which I didn't yet, because the bank hadn't approved a construction mortgage loan. It took 5 months to iron the whole mess out. The most frustrating thing about it, no one will actually talk to anyone else. They all insisted on going through me. I'm currently struggling with erectile dysfunction. It's a mental thing caused by my anxiety, but the anxiety medication I tried to go on also contributes to ED. Can't get job without a permanent residence. Can't get permanent residence without a job. Also, can't get a bank account without a permanent residence. Can't get a permanent residence without a national identification number. Can't get a national identification number without a bank account. Tried to get a driver's license in Costa Rica. In order to get inside the DMV, you have to have made an appointment. To make an appointment, you need to make a deposit at the bank to their account. To get the account number, you have to go in. Yep, this is the same country where it is illegal to pull over to the side of the road after an accident even if it is rush hour in a single lane. Buying scissors and not being able to open the packaging because you don't have any scissors. I can't find my glasses. Without my glasses. Can't get it without the proper id. Can't get the proper id without id. I was trying to get my driver's license and they needed 3 pieces of id. We were short one. Because I didn't have a non-driver stated which I couldn't get without IDs. 2. Military or criminal record. Passport. Etc. Now, why not use a school record? Easy, right? Nope. I was homeschooled since after kindergarten. And they hadn't digitized their records from that year so the DMV had no access to them. So go to the old school. Fortunately it hadn't burned down or anything and ask them to pull the records from their archives. Sure. Show us some id and we'll try to hunt something up. This was why my mom had us get our passports when we were kids. I work so that I can enjoy life and travel. I can't travel because work takes up too much time. At least you're enjoying your life. Not visiting my grandmother makes me feel like crap. Visiting my grandmother that won't wake up makes me feel like crap. My uncle was paralyzed from the chest down in a car accident. To live at home. He needs a special mattress that helps to prevent bed sores. His insurance refuses to pay for the mattress unless he already has two bed sores. Like, there's a lot of crap with insurance companies that blows my mind. But how the heck does that make any sense at all? Worked in medicine for years. Insurance company's job is not to help you get better. It is to keep their bottom lines low. Hope your uncle figures it out. Almost 27 and have never gotten a credit card. I've had a job for over 9 years. They won't give me a credit card because I don't have any credit. But I can't get credit without a credit card. Some bullshit. I was hired to set up a business for a company. When they hired me I was promised a million buck budget. Several staff etc etc. Of course I received nothing. No budget beyond my salary. No staff etc etc went to see the CEO 8 or 9 months. It's not working out. I need to leave. Sure he says. Next I get a letter from HR. I have quit so I need to repay my signing on bonus. Relocation and various other allowances. So I withdrew my resignation. There then followed a 3 month back and forth in which I insisted they fire me and they insisted I quit. In the end we agreed a compromise by which they fired me but a weird weird time. Well that sounds just a little bit scummy on their part. 
Needing money to support my two disabled girls. Needing to be home to take care of my disabled girls. When applying for financial support for college, I realized the catch-22 of being a part of the middle class in America. My parents made too much money to be eligible for any real, substantial grants and aid, but they made nowhere near the amount of money to afford an annual bill of over $40,000 a year. This was nearly 20 years ago so it's probably near $60,000 a year now. Full stop. So on one hand we weren't poor enough to receive an adequate amount of financial aid, but on the other hand we weren't wealthy enough to pay for the schools I wanted to attend. So I had to turn to loans, which I'm still paying off. Lost my id. Needed passport to get a new one. My passport had expired, needed id for a new one. Happened to my wife. Got seriously sick. So sick she couldn't work. Without working she lost her health insurance. Without health insurance, the bills racked up and creditors calling. Can't get a job to pay bills because you're sick. But you're sick because you don't have a job. Addicted to caffeine because I don't get enough sleep. Don't get enough sleep because I'm addicted to caffeine. Staying in a relationship too long then breaking up because it's not going anywhere. Do it too early you didn't even give us a chance. Do it too late you led me on. Similarly the responses. You didn't even give us a chance. I didn't want to let you on. You led me on. I wanted to give us a chance to work out improve. Company's tagline. We are hiring people below age 21 having 25-30 years of experience. Must have at least 5 years of experience with insert software less than 5 years old. Can't get job without experience. Can't get experience without having a job. Story of my life. Graduate college. You need 2 years of experience. 2 years later. You need 3 years of experience. 1 year later. You need 5 years experience. 2 more years go by. You need 7 years experience. Have to work 32 hour shifts at the top of my game. Can't be at the top of my game because I'm tired from working 32 hour shifts. Want to make good money? Go to a good college. Want to go to a good college? Costs lots of money. I was asked to be both best man and organist for my friend's wedding. He insisted that I do both functions, even though I couldn't give my full attention and best efforts to both at the same time. The organ was in the rear, the ceremony up front. A while ago I had a seriously messed up 3DS. For whatever reason, I could not connect to the internet without the latest firmware. And how was I supposed to download the latest firmware? That's right, connecting to the internet. This was like when I replaced the motherboard on my computer. I couldn't get online without the network adapter drivers, and I couldn't download the network adapter drivers without going online. I ultimately had to install my optical drive so I could install the drivers via disk. Depressed and don't leave the house to meet people when not working. Take antidepressants to leave the house and meet people then have the relationship fall apart because of sexual side effects of antidepressants. I worked for a temp agency and was assigned to a large company. I was doing very well, so well, that despite several project coming and going and several rounds of temps coming and then getting let go as the project ended, I was kept on over and over again to help transition to the next project. I was the only one kept for 4 straight project and almost 3 years. Meanwhile, other temps getting laid off moved to different jobs that would attempt to perm. So I asked the temp company to move me to a new assignment. They wouldn't do it. Apparently, every 6 months I am at one assignment. They get more money for me from the large company. So I made $8. They made something like $12 to start. By this point, they were making about $16, I think. Raises they never passed on to me until I started asking to be moved. By the way, at which point they said good news, you get an extra 10 cents an hour. When I kept insisting to be moved, they said they had made a mistake, and it was actually 35 cents an hour. The only way to get moved at that point was to do bad enough that I got laid off. However, at that point, to get laid off, I would have to do something so serious that the temp company wouldn't reassign me. When I was working in a lab in college, I was doing it to get a letter of recommendation, and I wanted a good one, so I worked in it for about 2 years. Based on how the study was set up, 
we needed a certain ratio of males to females, and after 2 years I was kind of the only male that knew how to run it. This realization occurred during a difficult semester where I needed to be focusing more on my actual grades. But now I was in a position where if I left, the study would basically fail, and if I stayed, my grades would severely suffer. It was a tough semester, I'll tell you that. Whoever led the lab was a shite, you're not supposed to put undergrads in that position. Miserable in my position at work, wanted a transfer, was told I couldn't get it until my morale improved. Whippings will continue until morale improves. If you're willing to go into combat, then you're obviously crazy. If you're crazy, all you have to do to get out of combat is ask, but if you ask to get out of combat, then you're obviously not crazy. When you have to crap, do you run to the bathroom, or walk? Running takes less time, but only stirs the pot more. Walking doesn't stir the pot as much, but takes longer. A catch 20 poo, if you will. Tell your girlfriend you saw someone that looked like her earlier that day. Then she asks, was she hot? Correct answer, I guess. But she just didn't have your favorite clearly visible thing about girlfriend. I say clearly visible cause I can just picture someone fricking this up and saying either personality or vague. My birth control allows me to frick all I want and not get pregnant. My birth control also stops me wanting to frick. You don't get it. It's birth control by disabling horniness. When moving to the UK you require proof of address preferably a bank statement to open a bank account. You need 5 years experience for this job. Every freaking job. Have to go to the doctor to fix a heath concern. Too painful to go to the doctor because of health concern. Need some kind of a loan to build a credit history. Need credit history to get a loan. I eventually solved this by getting my dad to co-sign on a car loan. Never missed a payment. Paid in full. Then bought a house. Working hospitality. Get sick. No PTO to get better. Fear of losing job due to missing work. Leading to stress. Leading to not getting better due to stress. You try to go in, but send home for fear of contaminating patron staff. Need money to get doctor visit. Can't work to get money. You forgot employer wants doctor's note to prove you were sick and are better prove you weren't lying. Can't get doctor's note because there's no money because you couldn't work. Nobody talks to you if they never see you talking to people. People can never see you talking to other people if nobody talks to you. So walk up to someone and say hi. Can't get a credit card without good credit score. Can't get good credit score without credit card. My parents did me a solid here. They put a credit card in my name when I was 13. I never used it except for pumping gas for my parents. They paid the balance on the card. My credit history is now over 10 years old and has 100% on time payment. It definitely helped my credit score. Companies won't hire me because I'm out of work. At my work you need to own a process improvement project if you want to go to a yellow belt green belt training. In order to have a project, you need the training mentioned earlier, which you couldn't take yet, because you don't own a project. To start a brewery, I need a building, before I can get a license to brew. To get a building, I need funding from investors. To get funding from investors, I need a solid business plan. To make a solid business plan, I need to know what building I'll be using, to know proper square featuring and seating, which leads to revenue analysis. I'm lonely, but loneliness is unattractive making it more likely for me to remain lonely. Went to counseling meeting for depression. Got told I couldn't have depression because I got out of bed to go to said meeting. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.